Hi, you're welcome to my YouTube tutorial. Today we shall be considering the construction of this object in isometric projection. So in the given question, we have this diagram of this object in orthographic projection. So we start out with the lowest point, which is M. Now, given the basis of the isometric view, we start with the receding line on the right hand side which the distance is 45 millimeters so we do that we now move on the left hand side which is 20 millimeters now we need to get all the sides which is the base of our object so which would be in the isometric view now the place where we use is now at this point the measurement from this point which is 20 millimeters to get the one on the left hand side and we draw the perpendicular line at that point so the next thing is to project the mid line which is the vertical height from the center point for m so we extend the line and get the measurement which is 30 millimeters and we do that so now we connect the point on the left hand side where they meet so the next thing is to move to the next point which is towards our left hand side so we put towards our right hand side so we project the line there at this point so that it will meet the base then we pick the measurement the measurement of that point is 20 millimeters and we describe the point you can see it I'm using this red highlight to indicate the point now move to the left hand side to extend the point for the base and the top side so after doing that the distance of this is 20 millimeters this way 20 millimeters we measure that then after doing that we draw a vertical line to connect the upper part of it then we erase other unnecessary lines then now we project again to this other side which is 40 millimeters so after projecting it we, the one at the base we project the one at the top so that we can be able to get the lens which is 40 millimeters then we connect the base one to the top one so that we can be able to get this particular side so after doing this we connect it then we project the other part of the object so from this point we connect this side of the object we project the line there and the distance altogether is 40 millimeters so after extending the we connect from this point where we stopped before to this product now we draw the vertical line the perpendicular line at this point looking at our orthographic view as our reference we do that then we check the height the height at that point is 40 millimeter then we get the measurement there after marking that point we now extend we project the line to go and meet the other point so now the distance here is 25 millimeters so we project this and we have the right hand side complete now move towards the left hand side then get a perpendicular line a vertical line to that point 
so after drawing this line we now connect where it was from the right hand side to this left hand then we, we also connect this point again to the left hand side then we'll flip our set square the other way which is 30 degrees to the horizontal that will connect this point at this point we erase the unnecessary lines so the next thing is to get this arc this um, semicircle that is made at this point so from this point we'll take our distance 40 millimeters to the midpoint of our object so they will mark the 40 millimeters they will take the radius of a semicircle which is 15 millimeters will mark on this side we're not going to draw the semicircle because this is in isometric projection so any object that is circular semicircular is going to be in form of ellipse so we're going to construct an ellipse at this point so the construction of this ellipse is what we're going to do at this point so mark the radius which is 15 millimeters then at the midpoint we're going to draw a vertical line which will aid the construction of this ellipse so what we did at this point is to extend our measurements to the right hand side so that we can be able to get the required measurement so on this vertical line we mark the 15 millimeters on it so that we can be able to get the required boundary of our ellipse so we now do for this side then we we'll go to the base the top we we'll do this then we we'll now move to the base also and do this one so after that we we'll draw a diagonal that will go connect that point so putting the compass at one of the extreme end then we will connect this as you are seeing so we we'll repeat the same process for the other half of the other part of the object so this is the required ellipse after doing this the next thing is outline it so that the shape is bold now required part this object which is drawn previously in third angle orthographic projection now we will draw it we will reproduce it in the isometric view which is this one now you can see the outline is here, and we have our object thank you for tutorial make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get more videos on engineering drawing thank you